This guitar is with me for two reasons, um, which I will explain, both of which are to do with the heading. So, what topic are we in right now? Ignore that. Tell me what topic overall we're in right now. We, we, we finished sequences and series recently. Uh, say that again, Tyler. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. We have been differentiating, so far, trigonometric functions. The name of the topic starts with a C is calculus, right? Now, calculus has more to it than differentiation, but earlier this year we just started with simple polynomials. We added on a few rules, like three in particular. When things are multiplied together, you still want to differentiate them, we use the product rule. Product rule. When things are divided, we use the quotient rule. When you've got a function of a function, you use the chain rule. Very good. So we learned all that, but it was all to do just with polynomials, and then very recently, we expanded that. As Tyler said, we looked at trigonometric functions. Sine, what's its derivative? Cos. Cos, what's its derivative? Negative sine. Tan, what's its derivative? It's x squared x. And then all of the variations with product, quotient, and chain rule. Okay, now, think back. What was the most recent? After trig differentiation, e to the power of x. So we're looking at exponential functions, right? What's special about the exponential function? It's derivative itself. It's derivative? is itself. And that often leads to some weird complexities with the chain rule and all that, but that's unusual. No other function or family of functions does that. Okay, you take a quadratic, when you differentiate it, you get something linear. Uh, you take sine, differentiate it into cos, you get the idea. Okay, now we're going to push further into this. However, and this is now getting to this, when was the last time you really did logarithms? How long has it been? It's been, it's been a while, right? Like, like, like at least a couple of months is what I'm saying, okay? And here's the thing, you need to know these backwards in order to do the calculus with them. And that's why I want to show you what I spent like six months of my life doing when I was, well actually I was almost exactly your age because I picked up um, the acoustic guitar in my HSC year. Um, and I spent six months of my life every single day, 15 minutes I'd spend doing this. And this is seriously all I would do up and down for about 15 minutes until, well, why do you think I only did 15 minutes? Cause yeah, because my, my fingers started cramping and, um, and, and or bleeding, right? Now, here's the thing, right? I, I, I've never ever played a piece of music that required me to use in sequence an F and then an F sharp and then a G and then a G sharp and then an A in, in that order and then back down. In fact, I hardly ever even play um, a G major chord, that's better, like this, because who, who plays an acoustic, any kind of guitar here? Okay, you know this is not the play, way to play a G major, how do you play a G major? Come on, show me, show me your fingers. Yeah, yeah, it's hilarious, it's like air guitar is harder than it looks. You play it like this, right, in a much easier, or maybe, maybe, maybe like this, so you can get the sus4. Anyway, you get the idea. Now, why would I do this and play in an unnecessary way? For exactly the same reason that we're going to have a look at the rules, the laws for how logarithms work. You need to know them backwards and forwards so that when you're actually playing the song, so when you're doing calculus with these things, you're not thinking hard about where on earth do my fingers go? What's the law that helps me change the power of the thing? You need to have that at the back of your mind. Okay, So that's the first reason. I'm not going to tell you the second reason yet. I'm going to see if you can work it out. I'll just leave that there as a prop. If you haven't already made the heading, stay. Please do so. And now I'm going to first ask for your help. Underneath this, we're going to think about our log laws. Log laws. And I am hoping, I am hoping deep in your repressed memory, you've got some of the log laws still in your mind. Even some really simple ones. So here's what I'm going to ask you for. I'm going to ask you for, if you want to go for the hard version, you can give this to me algebraically. I'll give you an example of what I mean. An algebraic index law, whoops. This, this is an index law, and it's stated, I'll come to you first, right? It's stated generally, right? It's like for any A, for any M, for any N, you can say this. It's probably a bit easier to say just numerically, like for example, two cubed times two to the power of five equals? to the power of 8, okay, because you've added those indices, okay. So I'm going to ask you to see how many log laws you can actually give to me just from memory. Let's see how we go. Sarang, you told me you had one. Uh, log a to the n. Log, so is the a down the bottom? 
Uh, the A is the base, yeah. and then N. Yep. Uh, plus log A M. M. Equals to N plus N times N. Log A. Say it again. N times N. M times N. And then up. Just before you go on, is this is this right? Yeah. Is this right? Okay. Just before we um, just before we confirm it, because we're writing this all down together. Um. Saray actually picked a perfect example because if you have a look up the top here, right? Well, this, this is the reverse of this, right? When you're multiplying powers, or I should say when you're multiplying numbers with the same base and different powers, you add the powers, right? Logs are exponentials in reverse. So instead of multiplication turning into addition, what do you see here? What are the operations? Addition turns into? Multiplication. Happy? Okay, good. Um, you can get an easy one for free if you give me the reverse of this one. Any takers? Who can give me the reverse of this one? Oh, me. Sorry. Nah, you've already given me one. That's good. Someone else. So log a n minus log a m would equal to log a n over m. Okay. So, just before we all write this, just for the sake of it, for this one it didn't matter because addition you can do in any order. For this one I am going to change it just to make it a little easier for your brains to remember. We'll do it alphabetically. So, if we make that m and that n, okay, um, as Zanke said, we're going to get a new log. It's going to be division first divided by second, okay, m over n. Okay, well, we've got two down. Who can give me another one? Sophie. I literally don't even know if it's a formal one. We're about to find out. Um, is it log c a mm -hmm. e wait, equals, hmm, no, 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 log c a plus Log CB equals log C. Oh no, it's literally, I literally just did the exact same one. Is that one, right? That's yeah. no, fine, it's fine. That's okay. Alright, so, so this again, and here's the point, right? It doesn't matter what the numbers are, yeah? If you're adding logs that have the same base, in this case it's C, in this case it's A, it still works the same. That's why these are laws, that's why they're useful. That's okay. Let's um, just rewind for a second. We can still turn this into a different one. We can still turn this into a different one. Um, this is a base C, right? Suppose I didn't want the base, I should get rid of this. Suppose I didn't want the base to be C, what could I do with this? Any takers? Log. Someone tell me who, who, who can do it. I'll give you a big clue. It's got one of these in it. Does that ring a bell? So if you don't want to try and redeem yourself? Yes. Okay, go for it. Okay, hold on one second, hold on. Just hold that thought. Aditya. Sorry. Yeah, sure. You with us? Yeah. You did some good work up here, but you're not finished yet. By the way, you should all be writing this with me. Okay, go ahead. Okay, there's a log, I want to say it's a log A. Where am I putting the A? Uh, is it on the base? Is it on the top one? Do you want to tag out? I've got some volunteers who are willing to take. Um, Tyler, go ahead. Is it log base 10 A? What am I going to put next? Log base 10 C. Log base 10 C. Does it have to be 10? Yes. No, yes, yes. That's, yes, that's, yes. that's how much your calculator process is. I so, 10's a good number because our calculator has a log base 10 button on it. But it doesn't have to be 10. So long as these numbers match, it's okay. So instead of saying 10 and 10, I could just call it anything as long as it's consistent, right? Why don't I call it, um, why don't I call it X? Is that okay? What do we call this one? Change, base. Change of base law. Okay, very good. All right, let me let me throw some other ones at you. I'll nudge you in the right direction. Okay, log base. That's an O. Base A of A. What is that? Come on, Edison. It's one, right? Sophie. Sorry. John, do you want to give me another one? Shh. Yeah, go ahead. Aha, very good. So this one here, this one here is actually a souped up special version of the top one, yeah. right? Does that, does that make sense? Because look, you're adding a whole bunch of them, which means you multiply, that's a power. Okay, good. So if you want to give me another one. Um, I'm not sure if it's technically an exponential law. We'll find out, that's okay. Um, but LN bracket E. LN bracket E, is that what you just said? Yeah. Yep. Equals one. Equals one. Okay. This is, this is a law. Can someone tell me which of the laws on the board is it closest to? Which one? Oh, okay. it's, um, it's this one. Why does it look different? 
Well, different number, but also this is a notation we haven't talked about at least today. What does that mean? It's log base e of e, which is it's just a specialized version of this. Okay, yeah, Amazing. Okay, it is another one. Log base of b of one. Okay, this is an important one if you haven't got this one around already. Now, just next to this, by the way, shh, and it's helpful maybe to do this for more than one of them. There is an equivalent index law for this, right? What's the index law that has a zero in it? Have a think. What would be the equivalent of this? I'll give you a clue. It starts with a B. Something to the power of? B to the power of zero. That equals? One. One, right? That's the same deal here. Okay. Um, what would be the index equation that comes with this? That second last one. I'll give you a clue. See that base there? Becomes the base here, right? So what should the base be here? E. E, right? E to the power of? E. Is it E to the power of E? Is it E to the power of E? So E to the power of 1 equals E, e which is the same as e. A to the power of 1 a. equals A. Okay, now, I, I'm pretty happy with this set. The change of base law uh, and the power law are sometimes the ones that people forget. Okay? What I want us to do is get comfortable again with using these.